So over here you can see that I have my scene and if I were to go ahead and select this cube object right here and press Shift D, then a duplicate is made. If I were to press Shift D again, another duplicate is made right here and over here you can see that now there are three cubes. So if I were to go over here and select this cube right here, you can see that each of them, the respective one is highlighted. I can also double click this and then rename it into let's say for example, second cube right here. So these are the layers over here which you can control out. So as you select out the layer, you can arrange out the hierarchy of this and so forth and everything is seen here when you parent and everything else. So now uh, with the layers, what you can do, do is make something called collections. So collections are essential, uh, essentially like a group. So if I want to create a new collection, I sim simply press C on my keyboard and then a second collection is made up. So let's say I want to uh, drag in this cube right here and then I'm going to bring in another cube inside uh, the second cube and cube or two inside of collection two. So if I were to actually go around, then what happens is that now uh, this is inside of collection two, just like this. So there is one collection right here and another collection over here, just like this. So another thing that I can do is now I can drag the collection over here on my viewport now and a copy is created just like this. So you can see that this collection is a copy of collection two now. So let's say I'm going to go around and press shift A and if I were to create something like a mess like circle right here that is UV spear right here and now you can see that there's a spear on this collection right here. So if I were to move this spear let's say for example on the left and right you can see that the duplicate over here that is collection two is being copied just like this. So I can go over here and then I can actually click and drag this out somewhere else as well. And if I were to make changes onto this collection, you can see that the chains is there in all of the duplicates that we actually made. So if we were to click on the collection, however, you can see that they move as a group. So if I were to click this, you can see that if I were to rotate this, they move as a group together and you don't, you, you cannot select them individually because they are actually linked on to this object right here. So I can move this around and if I were to rotate, you can see that all of the objects, they actually rotate at the same time. But this is not a part of a, any collection. So you can see that they are independent right here. But if I were to move this, uh, let's say for example, resize this, you can see that all of them move around at the same time, just like that. And that is how you can work with layers, uh, collections and duplicate of collections inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.